Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the UMIG R2000 film projector. It can be used with either regular 8 or Super 8 films. The first step, of course, is to get it plugged in. So you're going to plug one end of the cord into a wall outlet, and the other end plugs into the back of the projector in this location. While I have it turned around, I'll also show you the uptake reel, which is located on the post back in the back of it. So to start up, we're going to flip this cover up and remove it. Then we're going to take the uptake reel and remove the little insert that is in it. And we're going to flip up this arm to put the film reels onto. This slides onto the post. And then we will take our the film that you want to play. This one is a regular 8 film. If you had a Super 8 film, you would need to insert this little post that was on the uptake reel into the center of the reel. But since we don't need it, we're going to put it back on the post in the back of the machine. Here we're going to put the film on with the holes of the film, the sprocket holes, to the outside of the machine and the film rolling to the the top of the reel of film and slide it also onto the same post. You want to make sure that the little sprocket holes catch. The next thing is on this little cover that we removed there's a little film cutter. The end of your film insert it into this trimmer and you can line it up evenly and then push down the little metal plate on the left side and it will trim your, the end of your film for you. Now that your film is trimmed, we need to set this selector to the correct type of film. The N is for regular 8 films, or perhaps they were referring to normal, and the S is for Super 8 films. So if you have Super 8 films, you'll want to turn this most left dial up to S for Super 8 films. Leave it down to N for regular 8 films. Then we turn this selector to auto threading. We're going to stick this film end below the rollers at this spot. You just keep feeding the film in until it catches. Once it catches, it will take it up to the uh, uptake reel and it will catch it itself. Once it's caught, you can turn this selector to forward so that the light will be illuminated. You can see on the 8 millimeter films that there's a black border on the left side. That is to be expected because the film area on the regular 8 films is a bit smaller than the Super 8 films. You may want to do some adjusting to the focus with this knob with the A on it so you can adjust it up and down and you can also rotate the knob. The third knob over is for adjusting the frame. So if the frame is not centered onto your screen, then you can adjust it up and down as you need to. The next knob, most likely you won't need to adjust. It is set for the film to feed at 18 feet per second. If you need to, it rotates and you can adjust it to a different speed. But for most 8 and Super 8 films, the 18 is the correct setting. So you can see how you can view the videos on this screen. Or if you want to play it for a larger audience, you can flip this uh, mirror on this side. You flip it out and it will project your image uh, off to the side of the projector. Once you're finished with viewing your films and you get all the way to the end, you will want to turn the dial to instant rewind so it does it much quicker and um, you're not able to see it. A different way that you can do it is to put it to regular re rewind. This way it allows you to view your film while you're rewinding it, but it's at a much slower rate. So we'll go ahead and rewind the film all the way. 
and then turn it back to off. So you can remove your film and put your next film in following the same steps.